I think what happens sometimes in, 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 in these games, especially, uh, um, I, I, I noticed it. I think when, our, when, when you play against a team and, and you're going and you're watching them on film and, you, and you're talking about preparation and what we've got to do, I think that their team speed and what we talked about um, really early in the game, our guys I think were, I don't want to say surprised, but it took them a while maybe to get a little bit adjusted just to how quick and fast they were. And then I think their front court just their I mean, I, I thought their front court was as physical as any front court that we've played against this year. Um, I don't know how much more we could have couldn't done against their front court, but I thought that they were really physical. Um, you know, we did a pretty good job. I thought the three-point line was going to be really crucial in the game. We did a pretty good job there. They got off to a pretty hot start, and I thought we did a pretty good job, um, you know, defensively overall. I think there was a couple key plays in the game. I think, you know, Kenny Boynton had a, had a three in front of our bench to tie it late, and then they kind of went down, and I think Crawford got a drive, and Vernon Macklin gave up a three-point play, took the lead from three to six. Um, and there were a couple plays like that. We, we, we went up by one. We missed a free throw. Uh, I don't know if it was a front end the one-on-one. We missed a free throw. Uh, we came back and got the ball again, and I thought we had a pretty good opportunity around the basket. We missed it. That would have been a chance for us to go up maybe four or five. And then I think that they capitalized on some big plays when we made a run. I thought, I thought Crawford made a couple threes. You know, when the when when maybe we were up by one or two coming out of a timeout, he made a, a tough one deep over Vernon. Um, and and I thought that they stepped up in crucial times and made some really good plays. Well, you know, I don't know if they didn't do a good job. I I think that there were some actions that that we could have done a little bit better job guarding to provide some help. I thought we could have done maybe a little bit better of a job on Crawford on some of his drives. You know, the one thing about him, he's a hard guy to eliminate shooting threes because he's got such deep range and he can kind of get it off at any time. But I thought at times their 19 offensive rebounds, one of the things that we talked about was really trying to eliminate penetration and trying to shrink the floor and not give up threes, but really keep, because I think when they get down the lane on you, your bigs are stepping up, shots are going up, you don't have really block out responsibilities, you're always trying to rebound out of weakness instead of strength. And I thought that the two areas we wanted to really try to do was get back and, and kind of clog the lane and take away some of their drives. I didn't think we did a great job there uh, on that. And that may just be what he's talking about. You know, I, I don't think Ver Vernon, um, you know, rebounded the ball better today. You know, he had 10 rebounds, which was great to see him do that. But, I mean, there's certainly been some games where Vernon's had one, two, and three rebounds. So, yeah, it, it does cause a problem. I think Vernon's worked really hard in his free throw shooting. He's gotten better at free throw shooting uh, as time has gone on. He's put a lot of energy into it. And I think this is really the first game where he really struggled like he did from the free throw line. And, you know, even to start the game, I think we had a, he got fouled early in the game. We tried to really go to him early and, and get him the ball, and we tried to go inside to Alex and get him the ball. Vernon's shooting percentage was good. You know, he was six for nine, but probably had a lot more touches than nine shots because you look at the free throw line, he, he missed five free throws. And I thought Alex had some pretty good looks around the basket. It was just one of those games where he had a tough time finishing uh, over their guys. And then I think if you look at their front court, you know, Freeze goes four for five for 12 points, and then, and then obviously Love, you know, gets 20. And I, and I thought Love would have a great game just because I think in the Dayton game, it may have been the first two minutes of the game he picked up two fouls and really was a non-factor the whole entire game just because I don't know if he got into any rhythm playing. So I thought that they would try to establish him early and go inside and to see if he could get off. Yeah, I mean, I think there's, there's things, Pat, with this team that um, there's just deficiencies. I, I don't know if we're mentally worn down. I, I would say that there's definitely some fatigue level. I don't think there's any question. And, and you know what? Our, our, our schedule, a lot, in a lot of ways, doesn't help that. You know, this was a game where, and I'm not making excuses because I think Xavier out, 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 outperformed us, coach just played us everything, you know, today. Um, but they've been off, you know, really for – eight days. You know, we're on the road, and, and then it doesn't really get any easier for us because we got to go Thursday at, at home against Auburn, then we got to play at 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. So kind of it is what it is. I think we could sit there and look at it and try to make excuses, but it is what it is. And I don't think that we have a lot of depth, um, especially in our backcourt. And, and I do think that Kenny and Irving, to me, have done a phenomenal job, as you mentioned, one – taking over the point guard responsibility for the first time in his career, and the other one being a freshman. I mean, those guys physically, mentally, emotionally are giving me everything they have. Now, 
you know, I'm, I'm sure that they, they're a little bit tired and there's, there's all that stuff. But, you know, so do some other teams and kind of this is the hand we're dealt with and, and we need to go about, you know, trying to get better and improve. But I look at it the other way, Pat, from this standpoint, knock on wood, that we haven't had to incur any injuries on those guys. So we've been blessed from that standpoint. And I think Ray Shipman gave us good minutes tonight, um, did a nice job. I mean, we've had to throw Kyle in there a few times when there's been fouls. Um, but, you know, we're not – I think depth-wise, when you look at our team, Pat, we're only really probably playing six and a half, seven guys, you know, and, and that's kind of more kind of the hand we're dealt with more so than it is, you know, we're just electing not to play guys.